Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Before we jump into what we're talking about today, I want to show you guys something. So I went to the library uh, today and I found this. Now if you'll notice, mine is still back here on the shelf. See? Mine is still up there. This is another first edition. Okay. Got the price on it, cloth, spine. It cost me 50 cents. Um, yeah, this is probably the greatest. It's it's in well-loved condition. It's a little loose in the spine. But this is likely, I have to clean it up a little bit, but the uh, greatest find book find of my adult life. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you because <laughs> I'm super excited. Uh, so that's that. That'll probably end up going into a safe or something. Uh, so today, on topic, we are talking about from a Buick 8. One of Stephen King's worst novels, um, I feel, anyways. Okay, so why is it bad? Why do I think it's bad? Um, King says throughout the book, um, in fact, I there's a quote in here that says something like, tell us a story, a whole story, with a beginning, middle, and end, and this book doesn't have that. It's kind of like Colorado Kid in that sense. Um, I just, I've never enjoyed this book. It's another one of those, it's almost an alien book. Uh, the car, there are cars like this throughout the entire Stephen King universe, but what, where I'm going to tie this into the Dark Tower universe is with a book. Um, when the guy goes and does the dissection, in this book, um, he reads a uh, he reads a book by a guy named uh, Doctor John Maturin. Maturin, M A T U R I N, is the uh, the name of the turtle for the beam. Okay, that's the the turtle beam. The name of that turtle is Maturin. Anywho, so there's your connection. Now, as far as this book is concerned, um, I, I talked about this a little bit with uh, Dreamcatcher. But I'm going to go into it even more because Stephen King started writing this book before he had his accident in 1999. And he finished it after um, his accident in 1999. And once again, like I said with Dreamcatcher, you could feel the pain in this book with how painful it is to read. Um, I don't think I have a, I've liked a single section of this book. It's... Uh, there's whole parts of it that feel, you know, picked from other better Stephen King books. And it is yet another Stephen King novel about a killer car. Now, um, you can go one step further. Now, this isn't, I don't want to say it isn't accurate, but it hasn't been um, acknowledged by King. But the monsters that come out of the Buick's trunk, it just comes out of the Buick period, um remind me very much of the monsters from uh, The Mist. So, once again, we can bring that all the way back to the shop. So we're still in the King verse. if you want to tie that into the Monsters of the Prim or the Tadash monsters from the Dark Tower series, however you want to tie that back. But they, they really do remind me, especially in, if you guys will remember, in The Wastelands, when they're going, when they're on Blaine and they're going over and they're looking down, especially the artwork that, um, the artist did for the first edition of the Wastelands, those monsters sound like these monsters. So, uh, what do you think? Do you Did I miss anything? Is there anything else you would like to add um, that I did not cover in this video? Um, I think that's everything that I want to talk about. So until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!